So now we're gonna move on. Oh, your next comedian. He is he is a stud, ladies and gentlemen. He has he has some swimmers in his pond because that that, that baby you heard in the back, he seeded it. That is that is his responsibility. Oh yes, they go upstream, downstream, all over. He is all about. Oh, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, give it a nice warm welcome to Stephen Thomas. Thank you. Give it up for Jefferson Mars. He's the guy dressed up as the primary colors. <laughs> Jefferson Mars' wardrobe is sponsored by Crayola. Why dress like a grown-up? <laughs> Crayola. Ah. Uh, so happy to be here at Hot Monk. Uh, my lovely uh, fiance and I actually met at a different bar, but we made out for the first time for like three hours in like the cold in the parking lot of this bar. And uh, I love you, baby. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Deserves applause because it was nice. Uh, yeah, so I had a baby, uh, and a lot of people told me when I found out, oh man, your life is over. That's not true. That's, my life has been over for years. Feminist, you feminist, you girls. Feminist ladies. Yeah. Got a load of them in the city. They're always fucking whining about people like me. <laughs> the leading one, I won't tell you what the name is because he's fucking back there, Noah. Don't want them telling tales on me. She goes, hey Griff, she said, you, you should really understand feminism. I know it's not your generation, but look, she said, I said, well, how am I supposed to fucking understand? She said, well, look, meditate, go inside, and find your inner woman. <laughs> she says, then awaken her. I said, yeah, but what if she's a fucking bitch? <laughs> So, I have three older brothers, and uh, growing up, my name was Brian, Charlie, Kenny, and I'm like, it's Megan, Dad. It's Megan. <laughs> or no balls. Because <laughs> vagina. Two lips. Um, and so, this last Thanksgiving, I found out that all three of my brothers watched porn on our family computer. Yeah. And I was disgusted and horrified. Because it was the same computer that I, too, watched porn as a child. <laughs> so, in ye old Manning family tradition, we busted out the blacklight. Yeah, tried to figure out whose goo was whose. Yeah, that's right. I told my mom that joke, and she went, ah, ah, Megan. Ah. Anybody else's mom make that fucking sound? Like, that should be the ringtone for when my mom calls me. <laughs> With, like, the most aggressive vibrator setting. Ooh. <laughs> so then the, um, the nurse comes and takes me away. And I don't know why, they, they only do this at Kaiser. They tell you how much you're supposed to weigh before you step on the fucking scale. <laughs> okay, so you're 5'9", and, um, you're supposed to be around 140 to 145. How about you step on the scale? How about you fuck off, all right? Nothing about this says 140. Then you step on the scale, oh, oh, 210. Well, that's quite a bit more. Oh, fuck you! Then they send you off into the little doctor's office where you're alone now with shittier magazines with just like hypochondriac level magazines like Do You Have HIV Quarterly or Get Tested Esquire, those fucking magazines. Side note! There's, it's 2016. We have magical flying robots that kill people. There's no fucking reason there should still be tongue depressors made out of wood. You should not have to get your medical supplies at Michael's. <laughs> hey, 
like one of my favorite hobbies was getting high and eating food, and I just really fucking. Ex the second you graduate high school, you're getting high and spending your money. It's like woo! It becomes way too easy. Like I, it got to the point where like I, when I got high with my friends, I would like demand that they don't take me near fast food restaurants or near 7-Eleven, because I'd always just like, where is it? I just smoked weed. I know we have some fucking. Se There's a 7-Eleven in this side of town. Where is it? I need an extra large Slurpee. You know? And that's the thing about Slurpees is it, they're not always good. Like, you can start it, but it's never like by the end of the Slurpee that you're enjoying all the sugar. You're doing it for like the, the activity of just, okay, good, I'm high. This is a thing to do. Hold on a second. I need to get ready for my next joke. Thank you. But for year, for the past ten years, I've been like really paranoid. It's gonna like come out, you know. But I didn't. But I didn't want to just like give him a call and be like, because I don't know how that works. Because I've never. There's literally like there's no pictures of me like naked to any. You know, nobody has any, so I don't have to worry about it. You know, you guys probably have a lot of naked pictures that you sent out. Because it's like that's what people do. But like I don't know what that feels like, right? So I've got this one thing where I'm like. Like in this guy, you know, but like I'm close, but like you could like it was my face, you know, I didn't like you could recognize me and so <laughs> No, like every day I think about it for like 10 years you know? like, When is this thing if I get famous enough that shit is coming out, you know, but then like but then like the last couple years I've been like well, no one that's outdated technology nobody so that's just going in a box somewhere You know, I don't have to worry about that. It's going to box then I just found out he died yeah, do you know where boxes of outdated technology go? It's gonna go to a thrift store. Yeah, yeah. And my, and my fiance likes to shop at thrift stores. So I have, a, I have a riddle for you guys, I have a riddle. What gets hotter and heavier at the same time? It's something that's hotter and heavier. I once heard a clever motherfucker say something like a star or a quasar, and I was like, I don't know, maybe you might be right. That's not. <laughs> that's not where this joke is going. Like, holy shit! Like, I, mean, I gotta Google that now. I don't. Know. But the answer I was looking for was was fat chicks. I mean, at least at least for me, because I I like fat. Don't knock it until you've tried it. You guys don't. I mean, actually, don't. Don't try it. They're pretty easy, and I don't really need the competition. <laughs> They're actually not easy. I don't know. Like, I had sex with a fat chick in the back of my car. That was the hardest thing I've ever fucking done in my life. <laughs> as tall as I am, as fat as she was. <laughs> I don't know what came over me, but I know who came over her. Thank you very much, everybody.